Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I've uploaded a video here. I really wanted to share this with you guys today because I've been going through a really stressful situation in my business lately. Um, as you saw earlier, I just pulled up here at the Greenwood Building, which many of you know is the home of my business, A Mother's Nature. And we have had a disaster happen here. On December 24th, some pipes burst in the third and fourth floors of the building and flooded the building very, very badly. A lot of damage, a lot of issues. My office is on the second floor, so while I didn't have any direct flooding in my space, my carpets weren't wet, um, nothing like that. I came in and checked, they came in and checked. Everything seemed like it was going to be fine for me to continue operating out of my space while they were working on the rest of the building and all of the issues that had arisen. Then they had a company come in and do what's called moisture mapping, and they did my space this month. Monday they came into my office and they were checking the walls for moisture and as it appears I have a lot of moisture in my walls and they are unable to handle it without actually demolishing and tearing down the walls and rebuilding them. So I was asked what would I do if I had to move out for about three months while they work on the building and initially I was looking at some spaces that I could rent from fellow therapists particularly one that is right around the corner from my building here very close I could still park in my same parking lot my customers could still basically park where they park everything would be super simple um I went and talked with her. She has this beautiful facility where she does massage and they have yoga and there's going to be health coaching and other things in there as well. And it's just really great. I'm so glad that our community is going to have something like that available to them. Um, and she was willing to work with myself and another therapist who um, works just down the hall from me. And we were going to be able to rent some space from her. And although I was like, incredibly grateful to her for offering us that opportunity. I was still stressing out about it really bad because I've been working in my office for almost 10 years now and I have been working alone on my entire career basically and I am just very set in my ways and used to doing things the way that I do them and I'm really quite introverted and my office space is kind of like a sanctuary for me. It's a place that really feels like my own. It's just a really safe, comfortable place for me that feels good. And the idea of going into somebody else's space and working was just making me feel really anxious and uncomfortable. Um, while very grateful, I was just struggling with it. And so I made a video yesterday while I was on my way to meet with her to talk about pricing and like details of all that. I'm probably not even gonna share that with you guys because I was just an absolute disaster in that video. I'm trying so hard to stay positive and to see the silver lining in this whole thing, but like right now I'm just uncomfortable and I don't like it. <laughs> I just want what I have. I need to get it together. Um, <laughs> and I know that I look like this right now as well. I'm just kind of really going through it and really having a rough time with this. And I've been struggling to just like pull it together the past few days. Um, but after I met with her yesterday, I came down the road to the Greenwood building to go into my office and get a few things. And as it turns out, they actually found a room for me in the building that I can use while my room is being worked on, which is incredible news because now, yes, it still sucks. I have to pack everything up, hence the boxes here. Here and what I'm about to go in and do today. I have to work in a much smaller space. It is like half the size of my current office, uh, not even. And I'm also going to be sharing it with my friend who is also a massage therapist who works down the hall from me, who I trade massages with. But we're, we're going to make it work. It's still to me a better option and a better fit than renting the space from somebody else because it still feels like home. It still feels comfortable to me. It still feels like my space. Um, even though I'm sharing it with my friends, I don't feel at all uncomfortable about that. Um, and we're not going to be there at the same time together. With all that being said, that's what I'm going through right now. The few days without knowing what was going on and where I was going to be working, where I was just kind of in this limbo, were really, really rough. 
I was just sitting there thinking like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna tell my customers? How are we gonna work this out? They can't go three months without therapy. And just going without the income, it was just all a lot for me. And I guess I didn't realize it until now and going through all this, how very attached I am to the physical space that I work in. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know if that's something I need to deal with, but um, I'm going in now. You guys will see some of the construction going on. It is really crazy in there. The ceilings are all torn out. So it looks very much like, I told my husband, it kind of reminds me of the upside down from Stranger Things. Like, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else. I've been talking for way too long. <sighs> I need to get in there and start working. I'm dreading it a little bit. I haven't cleaned out my stuff in 10 years. <laughs> Okay, so I've only been here for like an hour and a half, a little less than two hours, and I feel like I've gotten quite a bit done. This is the closet situation. <laughs> so they're gonna have to move all that stuff. I still need to tape up some of those boxes, but they're already packed. And then I have like a few linens and things here that I need to deal with. Um, let me show you the, the rest of what's going on. So, it's a bit of a disaster. <laughs> this is all garbage. And I've taken most everything off my shelves. Got this dehumidifier thing going. Still got to work on that area there and decide what I need to bring with me um, and what I don't. I think we're going to bring this guy with us. I have packed up quite a few boxes. Just so far, this one and this one are the only ones I'm bringing with me to the smaller office and then like some of the things that are on top of the table here. But I haven't decided about the stone heater yet. I really want to bring it because I use it a lot. I feel like I need to bring it with me, but we're going to have to see what we have room for. Making progress. All right, so I have what's left in here. A big pile of trash bags and this thing somebody gave me that's also trash. And some furniture, the table, which my husband just put wheels on so that it can be moved upstairs, some more boxes for them to bring up, and a full closet of labeled <laughs> things for them to put into storage. So all this will be kept somewhere, I don't know, in the basement or whatever for me, and I labeled it all with my name and my room number so that none of it gets lost. <laughs> it is currently like 6.30 p.m. I just got done and my head is throbbing from all the dust and breathing in all the ick that's in the air in there. Oh my God. I'm done for the night. I'm gonna go home, take a shower. We're gonna come back tomorrow and start moving stuff into the new office. I will check in with you guys then. <laughs> So I completely forgot to film anything when we came back up here and put everything in here the other day. Um, but I'm about to do my first actual appointment in the new space. I'm gonna show you guys how I've got it set up real quick. Come in here and this is it. I brought my stone heater, 
CD player, my essential oils and my diffuser and stuff and the coconut oil that I use is there. And then we've just got some fans going on over here and um, underneath this flap is like space for me to store things that don't look super nice. The salt lamp, our little heating slash air thing and yeah, pretty basic. Did put a little bit of artwork on the walls, took them from my room and we brought this as my friends from his room. So I am again, like I said, sharing this space with another therapist and we've got my table in here and we're just, we're just going to make it work for the next couple of months. This is the basic setup. I've got some sheets and stuff up underneath this table in that little wicker basket. Let me show you guys what, um, the building looks like in here from my room. This is what my clients are going to have to do in order to go to the bathroom. <laughs> So coming out here, this will be the men's room, which is great, but most of my clients are women. So we gotta go through this and enter into the work zone. So you see they've got all this cut out. That's where they're like drying it all out and replacing it. So that'll be the women's room. And then this would be like my room is right below directly below so this is what i'm used to being here and having the women's room here so this floor is like identical to my floor so i just finished up with my first appointment in here uh, you can see everything's still kind of a little bit of a mess it went really well i have purposely like set up the table and other little bits of furniture in here as close as i could get it to how i keep things in my normal room because i'm like a creature of habit and i set my things in a certain way and i walk around the table in a certain way i just wanted it to be as comfortable as possible so it worked out really good i didn't feel super out of place or anything today nothing was really loud or disruptive which is really good yeah even though this whole situation has been really stressful ultimately I'm finding myself in a place of gratitude for my work and for this career that provides for me with so little requirement I'm realizing like I just I need so little to do this job and to provide this service to my community. I am grateful for my clients who are willing to walk with me through all the seasons of life, through all the curveballs that get thrown to me. And this isn't the first time that we've had to kind of come over a hump in the road together. I'm just, I'm so grateful for the people that I serve and how willing they are to just trust me and to flow with me through whatever life brings. So yeah, I'm just, I'm finding myself in place of gratitude for all of it. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And I'm going to continue to document this process and whatever happens along the way. So I'll be sharing that along with a lot of other really great content and things that I have coming for you. So if you're not already, make sure you do subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned for all of that. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. And as always, make sure to do something to take care of yourselves. Bye.